I want a dollar meal, five rodeos. Five rodeos? Cheeseburger. Okay. Two chicken sandwich. Two small drinks. And give me a large uh, Dr. Pepper. 11.48. Thank you. We didn't even think about a healthy eating because we used to think everything was healthy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Now that I know that the food is really unhealthy for us, I feel guilty giving it to my kids. But we don't have time to cook because we leave at 6. We don't get home until 9, 10 at night. When you have only a dollar to spend and you have two kids to feed, either you go to the market and try to find something that's cheap or just go straight through a, a drive through and get two small hamburgers for them. And Okay, here, eat them. This is what's going to fill her up, not that one single item at the market. Look at the broccoli. It's too expensive, man. What did you want to eat then? First, check to see how many are there for a pound. Okay. That we're done. Why not? You'd only get like two or three. No. You can find candy that's cheaper. You can find chips that are cheaper. The sodas are really cheap. Sometimes you look at a vegetable and say, okay, well, we can get two hamburgers over here for the same amount of price. Why is it that you can buy a double cheeseburger at McDonald's for 99 cents, and you can't even get a head of broccoli for 99 cents? My husband's diabetic. One of my main concerns is he can lose his sight. Um, he, he does get into some, sometimes his shaking, so I'm afraid that he's going to start not being able to drive because that's what he does for a profession. We have to consider his medicine. What is it, $70? 50 pills cost him about $130. But he's on two different types of pills, 100 and something for one pill and then 100 and something for another. That takes a lot of our income away. We're really tight from either paying for his medicine to be healthy or buying vegetables to be healthy. So which one should we do? It's hard to see my dad suffer with diabetes and stuff like that. And it's really sad to see that probably my sister might have it. Is there something that's going on in the way that we, th that we live our lives and where we play and where we buy our food in the types of food that we're able to buy that is causing this epidemic? And it's not just our community. It's not just Baldwin Park. It's everywhere. How many of us know one person in our family with diabetes? How about two? Three? Keep your hand. It used to be that type 2 diabetes only affected adults and now it's affecting children at epidemic proportions.